So what do we mean by smart? Uh, certainly, you can look at a more traditional definition of the word smart, which is an adjective. It's a, something that describes someone or something. And uh, maybe a traditional definition, especially for schools, would be um, someone would be smart if they were, uh, let's say, being able to show a high level of intelligence, using good judgment. Uh, maybe they're very good at learning and thinking about things. But before you can be uh, labeled or described as smart, you need to be doing something to show people uh, that you fit into that category. So I guess, in a again, if you look at a more traditional uh, school setting, smart could be the result of scoring high on tests, um, doing all of your work at, with good quality, um, maybe uh, if you travel a lot, having experiences that other people don't have. But a lot of it maybe is, is facts that you were able to memorize and, and put in your head. You could, you could pull out of your memory um, very quickly uh, if you needed it. And, of course, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, we all have, have things that we know that, that define how intelligent we are, right? But certainly nowadays in school with, with the access to information that we have at our fingertips using uh, computers and tablets and the Internet... Um, you know, I think that SMART may be taking on a different definition that adds to what we already know about SMART. So yes, a SMART student still um, learns, uh, is very good at learning, and is very good at thinking, and certainly uses good judgment. Um, but I think there's another layer to that. And if we look at students as producers of an educated body of work, as opposed to a receiver of an education, that producer mentality, that very active role, uh, implies that the student is sharing what they know with other people. And when you share with other people what you know, you have the capacity or the potential, I should say, uh, to elevate the level of understanding for other people around you to, to a place where it would not have been if not for that student's work. This is especially true if the student is producing work in a format that is easy to understand, that takes something that might be very difficult for other people to grasp at first, but puts it in a, in a format that is easy to understand, easy to grasp, clearly articulates what the student knows, um, and allows the people around them to quickly catch on uh, to, the, to a certain concept or, or, or an idea. Uh, we see this online. We see this on the Internet, the, the emergence of infographics, things that these pictures, these visuals that take a very complex idea and boil it down to a very visual format that is easy to understand, easy to go through, um, and easy to reference at, uh, for no other reason. So when we think about SMART, I think it's important that we continue to understand that the traditional sense of SMART still exists, but I would say maybe a new SMART or SMART 2.0 is reserved for students who not only uh, learn things easily and, and grasp them and show intelligence, but they're doing it in a way that they are producing work that allows other people, and they're sharing that work in a way that allows other people to quickly understand something that they that that audience did not understand before and as a result of the students work the level of understanding in the room or in that setting has gone up and I, I like to refer to that as sort of a, a knowledge creation scenario and that's why one of the things that I'm really excited about and that I talk to a lot of teachers and students about is this idea of creating knowledge and, and developing a knowledge creation laboratory or a knowledge creation factory setting in your classroom. And essentially what that boils down to is giving students an opportunity not just to learn the facts, but to actively engage in producing something in the class and being able to share what you're producing with other people. In addition, the, the product that is shared is one that the people in the room, that the audience, whether it be other students or parents or teachers, can clearly get what the, what the producer, what the student who made uh, that item, what they're trying to tell you, and it adds to 
the audience's existing body of understanding or body of knowledge. So there you go. Smart. It still means, uh, in my mind, still means showing good judgment or being able to, to be very good at learning, having answers, being able to pull things uh, from your head when you need them. But I think there's an additional piece to smart that comes with hard work, um, good quality, clear product uh, from, from, from the student's point of view, and then sharing that work in a way that allows the audience to have a more deeper and, and larger understanding of a concept that they may not have fully understood if it weren't for the work of that student. What is a smart student? Smart student works hard, does good work, shares it with others, and helps other people get a deeper understanding of the concept.